Hey peeps, uh, we came into the dungeon for this one because I need some fake power to talk about this bit. Um, those who know me will know that I've been, um, oh, welcome to the dungeon, isn't it beautiful? Um, those who know me will know that I've been involved in another ridiculous sexual assault case and on uh, Tuesday this week, the coppers came to my house to tell me that they're not going to like press any charges against this creepy little pervert. Um, there's a couple of reasons, one being that witnesses said I laughed after it happened and made jokes because I did laugh and make jokes about it. Uh, that was me trying to draw attention to it. Mistake. Um, the second problem was that he called the cops on me before I called the cops on him. Um, so, yeah, uh, he took an AVO out, a personal AVO, to try and stop me um, talking about him. Not that I've ever named the creepy little person. But um, so in the same conversation where these police officers asked me to let them do their work and trust them with the investigation, they revealed to me that the report I made two days before he called the cops on me, or one day before I called the he called the cops on me, never got read. I made that report to Crime Stoppers, and despite me having mentioned it to every single police officer I've spoken to, not a single one of them ever looked up that Crime Stoppers report. Uh, so I now have an email confirming that I did make that report and that the details I included in my latest statement were included in that report that was received before he called the cops on me to file an AVO. So they had concluded this investigation on Tuesday until I gave them this information. So, of course, now I think the investigation is still open, which is convenient for stopping me talking. But anyway, what I wanted to get here was this, what we can hope to get from the police when it comes to justice as uh, sexual assault survivors. Um, I've had a couple of goes through this cycle over the last few years and over the last seven years and I've learned that they don't really pay much attention to what we say or do. Um, anyone who's ever given a statement to the police knows that what comes out on that two or three sheets of paper is very different to the one or two hour conversation that you had with this police officer. And then later when they're investigating, they come back and say, well, why didn't you give us all this information the first time? It's like, I did give you all of this information the first time. You just didn't listen. Um, so after having the first copper, the copper who came to warn me off, sending him mean emails like, oh, nine months before they bothered to interview him, um, that copper, I said to her, are you calling about the Crime Stoppers report? She said no. I, and then she told me that she was calling to tell me not to threaten this man, to report him to the police. And um, I said, can I give you the Crime Stoppers number? And she said... I'm not going to read that report. It's a waste of my time. Um, so on Tuesday, they told me that Crime Stoppers don't actually take these kind of reports, which is difficult when you know I'm sitting on an email that has the number of the report that was taken um, that nobody's ever asked me for. So obviously, I'm really bitter at the moment. I'm trying to process this and I've had therapy and I've done some excellent bondage in this room and I still can't say justice. They started off the meeting by saying they were going to give me closure. This isn't closure. I still got to go and defend myself against his AVO because this is a ridiculous world. Um, this isn't closure, New South Wales coppers. This isn't fixing things. Um, now, the Sydney Morning Herald tells me that you don't record statistics on why matters get dropped. So I'm going on official record to record my own statistic that this matter was dropped because the police didn't listen to me. I tried to get in touch. I tried to reach out. I was doing this to protect the other women that this creepy man is all over and the cops didn't listen. Uh, so there is no closure there. I don't know what else to suggest besides going to the police for sexual assault, but that's not the answer. We can't just be left in a box for nine months and then told our word isn't as strong as his word. Uh, but, you know, that's how it goes. So I'll try and find something 
more positive to talk about later and maybe I'll show you some other angles of the dungeon. How excellent is this room? Claire made this. I know. I know. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Yeah, and Claire and I installed those mirrors. But that's a topic for another time. All right. Thank you for listening to me vent. Don't I seem more powerful in here? Yeah, amazing. I'm wearing pyjamas. Um, thanks for listening, guys. Bye.